At Snake River Base Academy, we have over a decade of experience in helping new base jumpers safely reach their goals. We offer a variety of courses for new and experienced base jumpers including fundamentals of base, object avoidance and evaluation, and big wall tracking. For more information, please visit our website, www.snakeriverbase.com. Hi there, I'm Eric from the Snake River Base Academy and uh, I'm here to talk to you guys today about a question that I hear all the time. Uh, I'm a professional skydiver and base jumper and when I'm not here in Idaho teaching base jumping I am at home in California teaching people how to skydive. Uh, and this is a question I get all the time from people who are making their first skydives. They ask me, do you do that thing where you like run and jump off cliffs and buildings and stuff? And my answer is yes, that is called base jumping. Uh, that's a sport that looks really similar on the outside to skydiving but there's also quite a few pretty big differences. Uh, my favorite analogy to use is that the difference is sort of like the difference between just ice skating and playing hockey, all right? Ice skating is skydiving in this analogy. Hockey is base jumping. Um, the equipment is similar. The environment is fundamentally the same, but the skills and the mindset that you need to do both is very different, all right? Um, here, in my mind, what are the main differences? Um, skydiving is pretty safe. Skydiving is something you do in a very controlled environment. You go to a skydiving center, uh, everything is very well regulated, uh, the equipment is very well regulated, uh, the other people you jump with all have licenses, there's people there to make sure that the rules that have been put in place over decades and decades are uh, followed by everyone and that everyone has a nice safe time and uh, goes home at the end of the day not in a body cast, alright? Uh, base jumping on the other hand has no rules at all. You get to make the rules for yourself as does every other jumper um, and this leads to a lot of debate between jumpers about what's safe and what's not. What's safe to me is really unsafe to a lot of other jumpers and vice versa. It's just a matter of your perspective and what different portions of the sport sort of uh, attract you in the most, whether it's jumping off really low stuff or flying wingsuits from really high stuff, right? Um, another important distinction is that skydiving is very much a group sport and base jumping is a much more personal sport. Uh, once you get your skydiving license, usually what you focus on is going out into the sky and making formations with 10 or 20 of your friends and it's kind of like aerial square dancing. Uh, also, a lot of fun, constant challenge, a uh, lot of awesome learning to be done there. In base jumping, it's very personal. It's more about going out there, jumping off different stuff, trying stuff. You're usually jumping not by yourself, but you're not jumping in the air at the same time with a group of people very often base jumping, whereas that's very much the point of modern skydiving. Um, also, the third big difference I see is that in skydiving, you've got a lot of time. Uh, on a normal skydive, you're going 120 miles an hour for a minute or a little bit more than that. Um, doesn't sound like a lot of time, but that's actually, if things start going wrong, a really long time for you to uh, figure out how you're going to save yourself from that situation. In base jumping, you're jumping from something usually much, much, much lower, and if anything starts going wrong, you've got to already have the answer in the back of your head and be ready to execute it without having to think about it and come up with a plan because you don't have time to do that. You might have two or three seconds before you're in a creek, in a tree, or smashing off a wall or a building or some other very undesirable income or, uh, outcome. Um, so, for those reasons, I think skydiving should be considered a mandatory prerequisite for base jumping. We recommend that you do somewhere around 200 skydives before you think about coming here to Snake River Base and taking a course with us, your fundamentals course. Um, there are a list of various skills that we think are most important, the ones that translate the most from skydiving into base jumping. Uh, we will link those on somewhere in the description to this video. And um, last, what I'd like to leave you with, uh, my answer to the question that I hear all the time, which is, oh, well, you know, skydiving is expensive, 200 jumps is going to take me a year or two to do. Why should I do that? I want to base jump now. And the answer to that is that trying to base jump without really learning and spending some time skydiving and building your skills first is like wanting to play pro ice hockey without first learning how to ice skate. Uh, it's possible, sure, but you're going to suck at it and it's going to hurt. Good luck.